in Luxembourg, you know, we have more than 50 percent, uh, nearly 50 percent of non-nationals. Uh? We have a large tradition uh, of integrating people. Uh? Integrating people from Syria <laughs> is something yes. new for us uh, because they have uh, the language, they have uh, the <coughs> alphabet, we have a huge uh, experience to uh, integrate or to come together with people from south of Europe. Uh, uh, the first who come was the Italians and uh, and Polish people when steel industry comes up uh, and then uh, in the 70s comes the uh, very large amount of Portuguese population with, which is still today our largest community. Uh, and now we had a new experience uh, uh, for uh, that we have people that come from Oriental countries, uh, uh, from Arabic countries. Uh, uh, but I think we have a common policy uh, in Luxembourg uh, to welcome and integrate people. Uh, Maybe you know this story about our uh, foreign affairs minister when on a council he said to Salvini, uh, Merda Lor, <laughs> which was, uh, uh, yes, yeah, Salvini, it was a provocation and uh, he uh, answered Merda Lor. Uh, uh, because he was so angry, uh, because really integrating people in Luxembourg, uh, uh, that is something that is very important for us, and we always gained of it. Uh. Uh, it brings something to our education, it brings something to our way of life. Uh. And uh, we have in Luxembourg, that is also something about stakeholders involvement. Uh, in Luxembourg, the NGOs, the municipalities, uh, they uh, come together in this round table. Uh, that is a big round table where all those who are uh, dealing with integration of, my, uh, of refugees uh, come together and look together for solution, discuss together. And in the last round table, uh, also our foreign affairs minister was. Uh, and uh, also there, I yeah, met a colleague, it's Marianne Donven, uh, uh, who also is a very engaged lady, lady uh, and who also support these projects. Uh, and, uh, mm -hmm. and now I ask you, uh, uh, his restaurant is Seriously, uh, <laughs> seriously, that I find very, <laughs> very interesting name. Uh, uh, when you you can uh, Google it, you can Facebook it, uh, and when you in one of these evenings you can go to the restaurant. And now I want to give you uh, the word to say, yeah, how you come to Luxembourg, what, yeah, what uh, you do. Yes, <laughs> okay. First, let me just correct. Uh, uh, not seriously, shish. But shish, it's mean by French, uh, uh, do it, which we make uh, this project. It was a small idea. Uh, let me tell you my story, and then you, we find out how, how we are here anyway, today even. So I come uh, almost four years ago, and then week after I was a volunteer in Red Cross, uh, I was uh, there as an artist because I like to work with the wood. So I start work with the wood, actually. In some project for uh, Red Cross, uh, they used to have a building uh, for an, uh, the idea to involve the kids with the, with the art. So if you have any art uh, professional, I will say, uh, and then you can be a member of this. So I like to work with the wood. I start work in this building as a volunteer doing uh, wood uh, stuff. And then uh, that was after a week I come. So maybe I will say months later, there is a kitchen there. And then we cook for ourselves. And then there is like 50, 60 people uh, as the artist in this building. So and then we have the kitchen. And when we cook uh, Arabic food, I mean, 
the, the all uh, people around there like nice food and nice smell and then so we start like sharing i mean it was for me a way to join the people the way to find the new life or uh, I don't want to be in the camp uh, just waiting my paper, you know, uh, uh, doing nothing. And then it was uh, a good project to that, like someone like me, to be uh, starting a new life, and then start finding the people because life will start with the, with the people, with friends. Sorry, I get some cold. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I used to do a wood and art and then cook. And then everyone around me say, Shadi, you cook well, you cook well, and then kind of, you know, nice smell and like this. And then we do some event like this, and then I start cook. Uh, now we have, uh, so in this project, the artist project, it, it used to be uh, uh, one manager, her name uh, Marianne Donvin, uh, she's in the top of this uh, project. And then uh, she know what I can do and uh, the way I cook. And then we said, okay, after already one year, when I get my paper, let's do some project. Let's do a business also. And uh, the idea now, what we are doing since uh, almost one and a half year, we opened a restaurant with four people. I mean, me and two friends who don't know nothing, they are students, they used to live in Turkey, they run away from Syria. And then uh, with a small experience, which I have, we start, now we have uh, 30 uh, people working there. And the project is uh, about that if you are a refugee or if you are, sorry, an old uh, man or old woman, or you have any kind of problem which is not easy to find a job, or if the minister tell you uh, that you can get your paper if you find a job, and then this is our people who work inside our restaurant. So we have restaurant, and in the same time we are helping someone who is not easy to work. And then we are 30 people. We start with a small, I would say, 60 uh, a chair. Now we have over 200, and we are fully booked every day. So uh, I mean, appreciate that I am here, a personal. Uh, I arrive, as you guys here, maybe uh, from Turkey, you get the boat, you go to Greece, and then you walk, or you get to train, or bus, and then, you know, like this. So I was one of these people uh, three and a half years ago. And I remember when I was in Turkey, I have $5,000, uh, I would say, and then I spent almost half of them or maybe more. I was here with almost zero, and I start with this project with the wood, and then I start even sale, and then now I have restaurant. I'm uh, a partner. We are three partners, one of them, Marian Donvin, and me, and we have 30 people working, and we make, sorry, it's a business with also... Uh, we try to be, I mean, the staff try to be, as I said. So uh, I would like to thanks not, uh, uh, I mean, you, we are international here, but it's really uh, super nice to be in Luxembourg because uh, before I never been in Europe, but you hear some, for example, can be a racist, can be someone don't like you. I never feel at all that in Luxembourg, and then it's uh, super comfortable that I am Syrian, I speak English, I do also understand well French, and then it was uh, uh, super easy and smooth and uh, to live here. And then you see, as she, you said, uh, <laughs> over uh, maybe over uh, half of the people who live here, they are not exactly Luxembourgish. I will be after one and a half year um, <laughs> Luxembourgish. So this is the magic, this is the beauty of, I believe, of Luxembourg, that all other human beings, we share this 
country, beautiful country, which is safe, clean, uh, beautiful, and uh, that's why I am here today. And uh, thank you for eating my food. And uh, please, if you have a chance, come and visit our place. And thank you for <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening.